All right, everybody, the train keeps rolling. Now the next stop is WWE 12. We've got Corey Ledesma here, creative director on the project, to tell us all about it. Corey, let's start by addressing, you know, the obvious one. SmackDown versus Raw is is no longer in the title. Yep, SmackDown versus Raw is dead. Long live WWE 12. <laughs> uh, we've rebranded, repackaged, rebooted the entire franchise. and. Uh, what we've been saying is that uh, a real true reboot of a franchise is born within software. It's not just a fancy name. Uh, and that's exactly what we did with this year's game. So what we've done is actually built the game on new technology. So we have a brand new animation engine and we're built on a new renderer as well. So basically it means uh, much smoother animations, much more fluid, faster pace. Mm -hmm. And then graphically we're really pushing things as well with higher res and texture models. Uh, we got depth of field working back there to give some nice realism in there. We got rope physics, a lot of cool new additions this year that just makes the game look great. Uh, looks it makes it look more realistic and more authentic. All right. Now, all right, so obviously we've got Alberto Del Rio here going up against Randy Orton, right? That's right. So Alberto Del Rio is a brand new superstar making his debut in this year's game. And then we have Randy Orton. He's actually our cover boy. Uh, on the cover of this year's game, so this is kind of a uh, big matchup right here. We have, um, and then you know, gameplay-wise, uh, we we feel gameplay is king. We have invested all of our effort this year in gameplay, which means that uh, we've retooled a lot of the core systems. So stuff like AI reversals has been completely redone. Um, we've added a bunch of new gameplay systems in as well. We have wake-up taunts. We have comeback moments. We got a lot of cool new additions. So. Uh, we also have limb targeting, so you can target certain body parts and wear them down, so you can do okay. submissions. Uh, so a lot of new strategies in gameplay, actually, this year. So it changes the way you play, it changes the way you approach uh, your opponents. Um, it just offers you know, pretty much a new experience this year's game. All right. Now we've got a number of audience questions coming in our way. Let's of course. See. Our audience is never shy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You know, something I've been hearing the audience talk about some of the early footage is uh, the HUD that's on there. And uh, we've heard some complaints about it, but I want to, you know, have everyone rest assured that we're still working on it. It's just a placeholder for E3. Okay. We'll continue to fine tune it and make sure it uh, looks good and also it matches what you see on television. So, if you get any questions like that, you can go ahead and skip those, Sean. <laughs> I will do my best. Um, Batista Bomb is wondering uh, about let's see, um, wrestlers that did any voiceover work in the game? Yeah, absolutely. We have a, a lot of the superstars participate in voiceover work. It's a big part of our Road to WrestleMania mode, which is our, our story mode, our single player campaign. Uh, that mode has, uh, is going to make a return this year as well. It's going to be completely overhauled. Uh, there's some things that we didn't really necessarily like last year about the design. A lot of uh, mindless roaming around we wanted to drastically cut down on. and so. Uh, that mode will, making it, will be making a grand return with some new superstars that have done voiceover for us. And, uh, you know, WWE is just a great partner. They are heavily involved in making the game, so we really appreciate their support. And they help us make uh, the game as authentic as possible, you know? All right. All right, let's see about these, uh, these questions in here. Are there a lot of inappropriate questions here? The, the funny, here. the funny, the reason that I'm taking a while here is that the last demo that we had on the stage was for Silent Hill, right? And we've got some late people submitting questions, wondering, is Pyramid Head going to be in the game? No, Pyramid Head. And then I read those, and I think maybe Pyramid Head should be in WWE 12 as a playable wrestler. You know, maybe those Silent Hill fans should just not even bother playing that game. Or picking up this year. It's WWE 12. That's what we want to focus on here. That's 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 the most important thing. All right, this Jason. This is our new submission system here too, breaking point submission system. Brand new mini game. You can also climb to the ropes for a rope break. All new uh, functionality added this year is pretty cool. Sorry, to interrupt you. Jason's got a question. Yeah, Jason from Vancouver is wondering about uh, the match types in the game. Yeah, uh, you know, with a big reboot like we've done in software, new technology. Uh, actually, we haven't cut down any match types, so we're still going to have a large amount of match types this year. We're not talking about if there's any new additions this year. I know a lot of people are wondering if there's a 40-man Royal Rumble, wondering if certain match types are in. Uh, we won't be announcing those uh, just yet. We're just talking about one-on-one -on -one gameplay. Uh, but a little bit later on in the campaign, we'll start talking about the match types. But the good thing is, even though we added new technology, we didn't cut back on any of the content. All right. Let's see. Um, 
And that also goes for create a superstar, a lot of our create modes. We need to cut back any content there. Those all will be back. Create an entrance, create your own finisher. Those modes will be making in return and getting improved, as well as a brand new create mode that we're going to be announcing a little bit later on, which is exciting. Fans are, you know, they want to create everything in the game. So, exactly. Uh, it's a lot of work, but we have a, you know, amazing, robust creation suite in our game. I think it's tops in the industry. Uh, so we always like to build upon that, and our fans love creating stuff. So you'll also be able to upload all that great stuff online again this year as well. All right. Now, uh, a gentleman calling himself Ms. Man is wondering, uh, are there going to be any legends in this game? Absolutely. Um, we have probably, in my opinion, one of the deepest and uh, most talented rosters the franchise has ever seen. I think we're kind of going all in on this one. Uh, we have new legends that have never been in the game before. Um, we have, you know, a big, big superstar and diva roster. So I think there's going to be a lot of surprises. I think there are going to be people that uh, are superstars and legends that people weren't expecting to be in the game. I think there's going to be some big surprises. So we're excited to announce that. And that will be coming along a little bit later in August where we'll announce those uh, new additions to the roster. AJ from Scarborough is wondering, will the WWE Universe mode return? Absolutely. We really liked uh, WWE Universe. For those of you that don't know, that made its debut last year, that's where you can kind of follow along on a WWE calendar and play the matches. We auto-generate those for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's making a big return, Universe 2.0, basically. And uh, we have a lot of cool improvements in there, a lot of new story content, a lot more control. Fans were complaining that they didn't have enough control. It's almost starting to move even kind of towards like a GMO type of experience. So there's going to be some really exciting additions to the Universe. And we're actually going to detail that out with a full kind of story on Universe a little bit later on. Uh, but fans can rest assured that it will be in the game this year. Right. Excellent. Now, Nathan from Corpus Christi is wondering about player progression. How is, how is that going to work? Yeah, player progression is important because of how popular Create a Superstar is. You, know, you want to create your characters and you want to obviously build them up. We're always finding this balance between giving you total control as well as building your player up. So we kind right. of, we do a little bit of both. We allow you to make your guy, if you want a 99 overall and just you know, whip ass all over the place. <laughs> um, or if you do want to slowly build it up, uh, we allow that kind of progression as well. So we, we, we try to cater to both fans with that one. Uh, now, you mentioned, you know, create a character just now, and that's obviously a big part of the franchise. You mentioned Absolutely. that you'll be talking about that a little bit more down the road, but Michael Michael Jackson from Georgia is wondering. Michael Jackson? That's He claims that's his name. It might be. Wow. It might very well Didn't be. I know he's such a big fan. Anything, any, any tidbits that you can throw his way about the create a character mode? Create a character. Well, uh, it's definitely making a return. We're definitely adding some new parts. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of questions about the mode, and unfortunately, we're just not talking about it right now. Uh, we're just talking about the gameplay and our new technology. But the, you know, just to answer his question directly, it, we know it's the most popular mode, so it's something that we pay attention to each year. We like to add new parts. We like to make sure uh, you have as many options as possible to create whatever you want in the mode. Um, so he can rest assured that that's going to be uh, touched upon and better than ever. All right. Torin Holland from the UK is wondering about multiplayer. Can you tell us anything there? Multiplayer, that's kind of a vague one. I mean, we definitely have multiplayer. We definitely have uh, you know, up to six characters in the ring. Uh, we definitely have online play. So multiplayer is a big part of our franchise. We feel it's a kind of a party game. You get with your buddies and uh, you, know, you, you have a few drinks. You play WWE 12 and you have a good, <laughs> good old time, you know? So um, multiplayer is definitely a big part and also What's really changed in multiplayer this year is that now you can interrupt the move. So as I'm doing a suplex, a third party can come in and, you know, and, and hit us and, and it breaks up the move. We never had that in the franchise before, so that's a new addition. That's really going to change the multiplayer dynamic nice. uh, because of that, that new addition that's in there. All right. Uh, Dennis from Denmark is wondering, are there any new weapons in this game? Weapons, weapons. Um, I don't believe there's any new weapons. I think we're sticking with the uh, tried and true mm -hmm. assortment of weapons that we have. Uh, we'd like to add some new weapons in the future. I think what we're doing this year is really just focusing on core combat. Yeah. With the reboot, we want to make sure that's as polished as possible. The more variables you start to bring on, the more complexities you get, harder right. to balance. Uh, so we're sticking with the tried and true, but um, uh, you know, weapons are always a fun part of the WWE. <laughs> so we'll make sure in the future those continue to be prominent. And when the metal folding chair already works so well, and why stray away, you know? you know? Exactly. All right. Um, Eminem from Detroit, I'm sure that's his real Eminem name. Eminem from Detroit, wow. Is wondering, are we able to battle backstage? Backstage fights, yeah. 
Uh, that's another thing that we're going to be talking about a little bit later on in the campaign. Uh, we did overhaul our backstage fighting system, uh, and it's a big part of Road to WrestleMania, but that's something we're going to detail in and show some videos a little bit later on. Uh, but we've overhauled that backstage system. We weren't happy with it last year, uh, so it's got a brand new fighting mechanic in there, and we'll be excited to uh, unveil that a little bit later on. <laughs> uh, Jabroni from Miami is wondering about the pacing of the gameplay. Fast pace, slow pace, is it more or less the same as previous games? Yeah, that's really exciting actually. What we've done is we've uh, completely overhauled the match pacing. Uh, in the past, I would say the uh, series has been more on the slower side. We've actually picked up the pacing quite a bit with the new animation technology. On top of that, we've incorporated a lot of real match pacing. So the beginning of the match is going to be really fast and furious. Guys are going to be able to pop off the mat really quick. You're going to get a lot of attacks in there. As the guys are wearing down, as more damage is taking place, the slower it gets, the more dramatic it gets, the longer the guys sell the, uh, the injuries on the ground. Uh, and so that real match pace is going to match what you see on television. So I think it's actually a big, uh, big difference maker this year in the game. Now, am I mistaken, or does it seem like there's a lot more camera angle changes going on here? Great point. Uh, that's something I didn't bring up, but we have a brand new dynamic camera system in the game. Basically, what we've done is we've mimicked every single camera angle they use on television. They have well over 20 different angles that they use, and we've actually matched those exactly. So every time you do these really cool, big, high spots, you'll see those TV, television, you know, camera right. angles in there. Uh, so it gives a real nice, authentic feel in there. Uh, and it makes you, you know, reminds you of television when you're watching it. Uh, even this default camera angle that we're looking at right now, that's the one they use exactly on television. So uh, we want to match that exactly. All right, Matthew from Quebec is wondering if you can elaborate a little bit on the taunt feature. Yeah, we're just actually watching that in the footage right now. That's what we call the wake up taunt. Mm -hmm. So when you do have a finisher store and your guy's on the mat, basically you can uh, hit the taunt button, you'll do the dramatic. Uh, you know, taunt uh, motion, the camera will cut, it will show you stumble right into his clutches, mm -hmm. and he'll be right there all set up for that finisher moment that you can hit. Uh, the opponent still has the opportunity to reverse, it's not all automatic, but it does set the stage for your finisher for you, and it creates that dramatic uh, sequence that you see on television. All right. Um, Mark from Buffalo is wondering if you can clarify um, the new control system in the game. Yeah, we have made some changes to uh, the controls. Basically, what we've done is we've removed the grapple command from it. It was on the uh, right analog stick. We've actually moved that to the A button. Uh, we feel it's a, it's a much more uh, easy to pick up and play experience, and we didn't lose any of the functionality from last year. We've actually just kind of improved upon it. And so the A button used to be the action button. We moved that to the uh, left bumper, and now the left trigger is to run. So not significant changes, but enough changes that I think it makes the gameplay feel a little bit tighter easier to pick up, uh, and it's always good to have your core commands on the face buttons, uh, which we didn't have last year. This is our uh, game designer, Brian Williams, playing this match here. And uh, he's playing as Del Rio, and I think he's really uh, giving it to Orton here. <laughs> and AI-wise, we are really stepping it up as well. We want the AI to be much more difficult. Some of our hardcore fans that play the game all the time, uh, you know, say that they could beat the game on legend difficulty that's not cool we got to make sure that normal difficulty is the new legend difficulty right. so we're really going to step up our game on the ai side all right brandon from columbus is wondering about the commentary in the game yeah commentary uh you know we want to continue to improve upon that we've recorded a bunch of new lines uh, you know, we have michael cole the ultimate bad guy calling the match so we made sure we've added some some uh some bad guy lines, some typical Michael Cole, root for the bad guy type lines. So Great. those have been added in there. So commentary, um, you know, we continue to look at, continue to prove. Uh, we feel, you know, there's still some improvements that can be made. It's not perfect, but uh, we're getting there. Let's see here. Uh, we've got one. Oscar from New York is wondering, why is this match taking so long? It's because you guys have a ton of questions. We want to make sure that we get a bunch of That's those right. And you know, we're kind of prolonging, prolonging the match here, so we yeah. can kind of just show you everything. We didn't want to finish it off right away, so that's why we're kind of creating this epic match for you. <laughs> but you know, our fans are hardcore. They're going to watch us and dissect every single moment and uh, see every single new animation we've added and all that good stuff. So this is actually exactly what a lot of our hardcore fans want, is us to keep the gameplay going. All right. In fact, 
Funny you guys should ask that. We've pretty much reached the end of the demo here. So, Corey, thanks a lot for dropping thanks, by. Sorry, I appreciate it. it a lot. Can you let everybody out there know when the game is going to be out in store? Yes, yeah, so the game's coming out November 22nd this year, 2011. Um, it's bigger, badder, better. That's our tagline. So, definitely uh, pick it up. And, uh, yeah, we think you guys are going to love it. All right. Excellent. Thanks Thank a lot you. for dropping by. All right.